Jackson County's election director Richard Barron is keeping his job for now. This after the county's registration and elections board voted to fire him Tuesday. But today that story changed after a vote from county commissioners. Our Paula Suro spoke with two of those commissioners about why they voted the way they did. The motion to fire Richard Barron was made by North Fulton Republican Commissioner Bob Ellis and joined by two other Republicans. Things have emanated out of consent decree that the county is, is under and they've talked about health and safety issues, chain of control, custody issues. The three Democrats against firing him include Commissioner Khadija Abdur Rahman. Republicans from the state and county level are mad at him because he was not going to do voter suppression. He's not going to allow the Republican Party to take over Fulton County elections. But Ellis says this move isn't political. He believes bottom line at the Registration and Elections Board should have the one and only say. I don't think that power rests with the Board of Commissioners. We have these separation of duties for a reason. So we reached out to the county about that. It says its code of ordinances does give the Board of Commissioners the authority to appoint the election supervisor as recommended by the Board of Registration and Elections. But with Vice Chair Natalie Hall sitting out on the vote, Richard Barron keeps his job for now. Give me evidence that Richard Barron should be fired. Nobody could give me evidence. If it was a fraudulent election, then why was it certified? Hall has not responded to our request for comment, but Commissioner Ellis mentioned she said she didn't have enough information to make a decision just yet. The Board of Commissioners is expected to talk about this again at their March 3rd meeting.